you know, you guys will fall in love with this guy. And uh, he's more important than me or all the assistant coaches because he's the one you're with all the time. Wilson? Hi, guys. I'm honored to be here. I'm so honored to get started and work in this program with you guys. I grew up in this conference. I grew up as a kid wanting to be the best version of me. But my job is to help get you there. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get you there. But now it's about the present. What are we going to create? We do Olympic lifting. We do the power cleans. We do all that. We do the sprint mechanics. We focus a lot on individual specific position groups when it comes to your training. All that. The most important thing, guys, is mindset. What's it going to be, man? What do you want to create? While the arrival of the lane train brought a lot of eyes to the head coach, his supporting staff know how to bring the party to the sip. No kill. We gotta tone it down a little bit. We're gonna put that in the with the Leo. Yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> and head strength and conditioning coach Wilson Love does not know the words tone it down. Now it's the main event. Right here, right now. Man, a Wilson Love weight room is the craziest thing you can imagine. You know, we're and they're rowdy, we're in there jumping up and down, high energy, just getting after it. When you're in the weight room with Wilson Love, you better be ready for a show. <laughs> ready! Break down! Drag! Drag! It's time to break something! Break something! I honestly don't know if anybody can uh, get up to an energy level of Wilson Love. It's pretty hard. He's, he's ramped up every day. Every time I walk in, I hear him screaming. It's kind of good. Take a knee, take a knee, let's get it! It's a party! We got two more things, it's a damn party, guys. First, Wilson, well, place. We got 180 hip turns as fast as you can in place. Fast, fast. This party starts at 4 a.m. every day. Why well, most of us are still sleeping, so, um, you know, it's hard to say you're gonna have this energy and, you know, this program the way that we talk about it if it doesn't start down there. Like, if there is an energy meter, like I promise you, it would be the same. No matter what mood he is in, same exact energy mode every single day. Someone could look on the outside and be like, well, he probably doesn't keep that up all day, and I can walk in the hallway and That's the energy you want. That's energy like, man, I'm ready to work. And if you have the energy, you're like, shoot, I feel good. I'm energized. My body's excited. Let me go work. And then you end up working extremely hard. But you're having fun doing it. Don't be scared now, offense! Don't be scared now, offense! I love it! Oh, oh, oh. It's just who I am. You know, there's not like a faking it thing, like, oh, street coaches gotta be crazy. You know, I'm like this and I go eat supper at the house when I'm cooking, you know? This is who you are. I mean, of course, you know, he's gonna come out there and bring the energy, but as soon as he taps into the weight room, it's like a switch go off, you know, he's, he's focused on everything, your ankles, you know, mobility, just everything. So, he's really a good coach. Other knee back, other knee back, inside knee down, inside knee down. Shoulders back, shoulders back, hips, hips. I saw your feet, you're like that. It's right here. It's normal, it's normal. Hey, scoot that tad back. Do you need a pad for your foot or is it fine? Coach Love always comes up and checks on me. Come and ask me how I thought about the workout, how I felt about how it, what it worked, how it worked, did it do what he wanted us, how it wanted us to make us feel. He continues to learn. He's very innovative. He always wants input from coaches to combine what he does in the weight room with how each position moves specifically. Is that too high? Feel that? That's probably good. Good? Good? Is this tight? Are you cramping? Like he understands each position is different. You're not all gonna be doing the same exact lifts. It is all, you know, movement specific. So if you're a quarterback, you're not gonna be doing the same thing as a D lineman. You wanna get faster, it's how you get faster right here. Drive! Get 1.5 plus, let's go. Drive! Faster, come on! Hey, let's get back a tad bit more. You wanna get that lean, okay? Drive! Naturally, as a strength coach, you, you can't get caught up in doing what the norm is. I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta see what's best for the football player. There's reasons to it why we do certain things, why a D lineman needs this, why a wide receiver needs certain things. If you don't train them for the football player they are, I mean, you're not making them a better player. From their first meeting, 
Wilson Love made it clear that being a better player was not only applicable on the field. The first thing he ever told us when we got here is he gave us a list of all their numbers, him and his assistants. So if y'all ever need anything, call us. You know, 24-7, we're available. But man, know this. I'm not just your street coach. If you ever need anything, I'll be the first one there. And coach is going to bring a staff. It's the same way. Because we ain't in it for all this other stuff. We're in it for y'all. He really does care about all of his players, not only in the aspect of developing us, but hey, like, what can you do off the field that makes you a better person? It's not just about being crazy. That's not what straight coaching is. It's about teaching the kids, guiding the kids, but more importantly, serving the kids, making sure they know what they gotta do every single day. Shame on me if I can't teach a kid how to do a lift, how to do a running technique, how to jump properly, cut properly, because that's my job. But also more shame on me if I can't help a kid off the field. I love Coach Wilson. He asks me about my son almost every day. He asks me about how am I doing, you know. He just keep in touch. We keep him a close basis, man. You know, he's a good dude. He's a funny guy, you know. Um, every time you see him, he going to say something funny or just be like, what's up? And, you know, he going he gonna to make conversation with you and just make you feel comfortable with him. I think your arms be a little bigger. Bro, stop playing with me like that, bro. P90X or something. Bro, stop playing with me, bro. You use an ocean ball. Try me. That's what you do. Try. I don't worry about you. Try. That's what you do. I don't worry about you. Go. Look at me in sixth grade. <laughs> Get a little pep in those set, Plash. Get a little pep in those set, girl. Yo, you about that life? Girl, you ain't ready. Girl, you ain't ready. Good. Keep your head up. All right? Don't talk to you sometime, okay? How bad you want it? You want to be great? You want to be great? You don't want this to be a number. Be a dude now. Them as a person comes first. Football comes after that. So I always want them to know, like, you have somebody here for you. If it's 1 o'clock in the morning, anytime, it doesn't matter. The door is always open for you to show them guys, like, we're not just here to coach you. We're here to be there for you. It's like a big brother. You just, it's still yes, sir, no, sir. But I know he has my best interest and the whole team's best interest, and he truthfully loves all of us and uh, wants the best for us. I spend more time with these kids than your actual family members, and they become your family. So shame on me if we're not, not going to help get you right, because we truly do love these kids. So make it a blessing. We here, right, Elijah? We here, right, Jay Jones? We here. God gave us another day, Tisdale. So by God, don't know who cares about tomorrow. We're here. Fourth quarter, baby. This team got fight. So much fight. I love these kids, man. You gotta love what you do, man. You know, it's my last name's love, but at the same time, it's real because every single day, like, I tell my wife like how blessed I am just to serve these kids, just to be around those kids are an incredible group of guys. Like, it's the best job in the world. You cannot beat it, and that's why I love it. Because there's so many people that wish they could have this. There's so many people that can't have this, that can't do things they want to do in life. I'm blessed to be able to do this, and I'm gonna make the best of it.